Hello and welcome. My name is Daffy Roth and this is my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be uh, continuing our playthrough of the Parasite Eve for the PlayStation 1. Uh, it's been a little bit, uh, have since, well, just been lazy, honestly. Um, so I, I'm going to, I'm going to get back into things. So this is, uh, the return, I suppose. Yay. Anyways, uh, we're in the final day, um, disc two. Uh, we just defeated Eve on the, uh, Century of Liberty. Um, and I do believe we are now going after the Supreme Being is going to be my guess, but, um, but yeah, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and jump in and, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Let's try to get the uh, volume settings just here. Hey, uh, come on. Hey, uh, what's wrong? Ah, uh, you were great, Aya. Uh. Shows that only my partner can pull it off, eh? Yes, uh, I am relieved that you made it back safely. Why the hell did you have to bring all this to the, uh, to the Statue of Liberty? Because of the ocean and what it symbolizes. The sea is the mother of all creation. This is where she wanted to give birth. She wanted a natural birth, huh? I guess I is just like chill and like, nah. If you don't mind, I'd like to have some time to myself. Everyone else has been guided inside, miss. Well, I am going to go look around. What do you think of that, huh? Um, I don't know if I've said this in previous uh, videos, but I, I think I've decided that I'm going to go through the whole series. That includes the third birthday, uh, despite the negative reviews uh, as a fan of the series. Um, I'm going to give it a shot, so. <laughs> I had some trouble there with that door. No need for this anymore. You take it. Keep it as a souvenir, huh? Uh, yes, thank you. Oh, that's Wayne. Uh, hiya. Well, Wayne came all the way from the precinct to see you. Yo, Wyatt. Oh, uh, I'll be outside. The smell of oil makes me uh, rather queasy. I knew it. I knew you would do it. When I heard that you blew that thing to bits, I had to come over here. Everyone's saying that you're the number one cop in New York right now. Probably the only cop in New York right now. Hey, what's wrong? You killed that thing, ain't you happy? I guess you're in shock or something, huh? Yeah, uh, you're, you're probably tired too. I'll take the things that are in your way, so you rest up. Now, you hear? Um, I think for now we're just gonna hold on what we got. Hey, as a souvenir for blow and evil way, I've engraved your name on any weapon. Choose a name and armor. Well, I, I mean, that gun did come in handy, I'll tell you that much. Do I have any ammo for that left? <sighs> oh, I can't cancel. I figured for now, I'm not going to be... It's 
great being on this cruiser, eh? Gotta tell my mom about this. I, I don't have a particular safe, uh, it's not safe, but particular, you know, special weapon or whatever yet. So you gonna hand me your excess baggage or what? Ah, uh, there's a save. So I think it came out here. Let's go check out Mina. I don't have a particular favorite weapon yet. I, I mean, I kind of feel like I'm still in the middle of figuring out what weapons I want to go with. Some Christmas, huh? Now tell me about it. Sorry, we're late. We could not approach the creature without absolute confirmation of its death. Your help was greatly appreciated. Please rest inside. As citizens of the United States, what's going on? What is it? You're, you're scaring me. A huge creature that the mitochondria was creating was... It couldn't have been the uterus for the ultimate being. No. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at you cute. What the hell is that? <laughs> You've got to be kidding. That, that is the ultimate being. We, we didn't make it in time. What are these explosions? The, the mitochondrial energy must be out of control to the point where it's causing these explosions. We will escape by the helicopter. Please follow me. Guess all we can do for now is run. Hey, come on. Hey, what's wrong? I I have to take care of this. Hey, no. Don't worry about me. I'll be back. Please hurry. Shut up, man. Aya, uh, uh, please take. Cut it out with the voodoo stuff already. Huh? We can't be wasting time. N no, Daniel, please. This is different. It's not the voodoo stuff. Hurry, please. You two should go. Now. Hey, uh, you're coming. Back no matter what, you hear? Oh, you can cutie, little mm. baby. Mm. You killed mommy. I mean, this would be like your niece or nephew, right? It's you or me who's going to be the one to make it through. That's the question. Um, I think I am out of rockets, actually. No, I got 13 rockets, but let's, uh... want to change, uh... Shotgun. 
a second. Incredibles on it, so. I'm gonna need to put up Barry here after he does it one more time. Or it, whatever. You know what? Screw you, baby. <laughs> that, that. What the heck? It, it's growing. What's happening? Uh-oh. Maybe I should have done it at the baby. Oh, no. Oh, I do have two. All right. Um, let's go for the missile thing with the tentacle thing on its head. It got too far away. Fine. Stay in the middle. Uh, let's heal up. Crap. I don't like this view angle at all. Oh man, this isn't good. Alright, we got it. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well then. Um, I will be back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just restart it from here. Um, because there's a lot. And so, prior to this, you can actually talk to the guy in the room, the naval officer. And, um, he gives you, like, here fours and threes. Um, so I went ahead and did that. Uh, so, also, I was wearing the... I didn't realize that I had actually been wearing the, um, armor that doesn't give me any status effects. Uh, so it is weak. It was weaker. So I'm going to go with the stronger armor this time. Um, I'm not going to use Liberation on the get-go. Um on him uh and we'll save we'll save liberation and rocket launcher for the second phase i don't know how many phases there are so um but yeah let's go for it although it'd be funny just to blast him in the face with the rocket launcher but we Uh. 
Eh, not as strong. It's like basically okay. So, like I kind of understand how that gun works now. Um. Yeah, I wish I could. Have, I think I put it on. Shotgun. Let's see how he takes shotgun in the face. I think rocket launcher is still probably the not rocket launcher, but the grenade launcher. We are going to go ahead and heal here in a second, though. Oh, we're moved. heal on the next one. I should just go ahead and throw a barrier. And then we'll heal. I don't like that baby like right up in my face. So the interesting. So when you put a barrier, it actually doesn't replenish your uh, parasite powers. There's no real way to. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can dodge that. Okay. All right. Oh, he just gets bigger. Okay, here we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and liberate. We're gonna switch our armor real quick and then back uh, just so we can get replenished parasite powers. I have a feeling it's gonna go slow. Oh. Oh, he turned into. This, this is the mature being? Oh boy. Oh, it's like weird. It's got like boobs too. Boobs? I don't know. Oh, look at that. Dude, this, this is full of just 
really disturbing imagery here. Got like a ball sack off its butt. A butt sack? I don't know. I'm being crude. Well, you know what, ultimate being? I have. Fine. Everything's fine. Liberate, why not? I like that I can't use the energy shot with the rocket launcher, though. We're gonna have to... we'll change. Oh, I'm confuddled. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, let me, um... Quick. This is a bad idea, but I know. Come on, come on. Oh, what? I only did. Wow. Come on, I need liberate again. See if I can. What on earth is this thing doing? It, it's still growing. No, wait, it's still evolving. Uh. Oh, crap, I can't hurt it. That's not good. <laughs> uh, try it again one more time. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Okay. Um, I, I, uh, oh, you know what? What about... Ada, I hope this works. Negative. Great, maybe. <laughs> Nope. 
Oh, right? I, I know you want to continue living. After all, you were just born, but I want to live too, like all other human beings. Damn, there's no end to this. If only we could get this to Aya. What are those? They're bullets with eight of cells in them. So that's what you were trying to give her. But I, I think it's too late now. There's nothing we can do. Stupid. Give them to me. Daniel's an idiot for not letting him do it in the first place. <laughs> what? Oh, that's not so funny after all. Daniel, no. Oh. Daniel, this is from Meta. All right, yippee ki -yay. it's time to go down. Oh, look at that. Uh, it's a lot smaller than it looks in the video. Daniel. Oh my god. There's got to be something on this creature to get rid of this. And thus starts the slowest chase in any history of horror. Nah, I'm just kidding. Don't have trouble with that door, eh? Yeah? Alright, let's see here. The engine room. Uh, I can open doors now. Uh, let's call this in. Hold on a second. Ah! Oh no! Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's so cheap. All right, I'll be right back. That's kind of funny, though. All right, and we're back. Sorry, I... Uh, I didn't realize it was start moving. Um, anyways, I had to do the fight again, but... Or we're not gonna fall for the phone trap again this time. The engine room. Don't forget to lock the door behind you. What the hell? The means just went into overtime. Uh oh. Let's hope I went the right way. I don't know. What the hell? Where am I supposed to go? Wait, is this just a dead end? Whatever. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. Why is there just a dead end hallway in a cruiser? It's kind of silly. Alright, you are here. So the engine, it's not very specific on where I need to go. 
It's not like there's things on the wall that says engine room this way. So I guess if the music goes really fast, we made the wrong turn. Yeah, that seems to be what it is. Oh, wait. Uh, right way, right way, right way. Okay, we are in the engine room. Press the red button. If the boiler pressure shoots up, I can blow the ship to bits. Yeah, <laughs> look at all the slime it left up on the... Do you know where you are? We're in Hell's Kitchen. Ah, that's funny. Why am I going back here? Maybe there's something back here. Like a ladder. Probably could have just gone over that little bridge there. But I almost want to put in the Metroid, the Super Metroid uh, soundtrack when the beginning of the game when Ripley uh, starts to destruct system. But, you know. Well, it sucks, you should probably die, because there's this thing where when the ship sinks, it creates like a whirlpool. You can just liberate and fly out, probably. Oh, I guess he survived. Well, look, his clothes are fine, too. It's finally over. Hmm. I don't understand. Why do I have this power? It's because Maya is inside of you too, Ayo. What? When your mother and your sister died, they transplanted a part of your sister into you. Into me? Yeah. When you were seven, you probably don't remember any of it, but... You were born with a defect in your right eye, and so Maya's corn cornea was transplanted into your right eye. My right eye? But then, what I saw, that's... Then, when, what I saw when I touched Eve was... It said that when you have an extreme experience, what you see then is branded onto the cornea. But this hasn't been scientifically proven. That was Maya's last memory? That was the last thing she ever saw? As for the mitochondria that was in Ida's body, I think it underwent a different evolutionary change in Eve. By living symbiotically with Aya's mitochondria, it still possessed Eve's power. From there, it evolved to the point where it could live symbiotically with the human nucleus. Me and Maya are mitochondrial power. 
Starting with the incident in Japan, and now with this, I wonder if this is a message to all mankind. Message? What kind of message? How can I explain? If the Earth is a single human being, we humans that invade the Earth become like viruses out of control. We, in essence, are upsetting the natural balance of the body. This is definitely utter destruction. No, we're not that weak. You see, humans are, in essence, parasites. You can say that we are parasites in the world as our host. Hmm. Look, the sun's coming up. Come on, Aya. Here, take my hand. Thank you, Ben. Uh, I'm not too good with these social events. Nah, not me. I love these things. We have to make up for Christmas Eve. This is my first time, so I, um, I'm nervous. That's cause you with I and she's all dressed up and pretty. What? No, 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 it can't be. It's starting, shall we? It's all going too fast. But yeah, I does look fine. That dress is be nice. Yes, Daniel and Ben are late, aren't they? They better hurry, it's going to be starting soon. Uh, the restroom must be really crowded, uh, that's probably it. Oh, what's wrong? You seem tense. Uh, or, um, yes, of course. What? Uh, uh, well, since I'm going back to Japan, I... Who will, fool? Yeah, all right. Made out of town. I'm sitting next to Aya. Sorry, we're late. Aya's gonna be his new mommy. I'm sitting next to new mommy. Father, please give me permission to marry Eva. I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the only one that has suffered after the deaths. She is evil. God, grab her! And burn her at the stake. Father, if you are sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with it. Her. E Edward. Um. 
Um, would you be guys down? Sorry. Get with it, guys. Jeez. Well, that's weird. Oh, I was supposed to be glowing like this, eh? So that's uh, Parasite Eve for the uh, PlayStation 1. Um, so, I mean, I having played this, you know, way back in 1999 or whenever it was, um, at the time, this game was far different than anything you, I've ever played. Um, playing it now, it I, I feel like this is a game that is, is deserve of a actual remake. Not a sequel, but an actual proper remake. And the reason... Um, I say that is because the story can be a lot. The the story doesn't flow very well, in my opinion. Um, I see what they're going for, uh, and and it's there, but I think it can be flushed out a lot more, especially when it comes to the investigations. Um, maybe do some other things, you know, throughout the days. Uh, you know, like more police work, I suppose. Um, but, uh, I don't know. It's still a great game. I, I love it. Um, it's creepy in all the right ways. Um, so, I mean, I don't really have much else to, uh, I guess to really, you know, critique, um, other than like, I guess when it comes down to it, like the battle system is pretty awesome. Uh, the weapons really just come down to what has bigger numbers and what, like, abilities they have on them. So the, the weapons um, customization is pretty cool and it is unique. So it's definitely something I'd like to see expanded upon. It's not something that was expanded upon really in the sequel, which we'll be getting to. Um, now there is a new game plus, so I do plan on doing a new game plus that would be separate from this one. Um, there are, there is a whole another level, which is the 
um, Chrysler Tower, I believe. And it's basically just a dungeon crawl going up all 74 or something like that. So there is that. Um, also, you know, there's some things that I miss. So I'm going to use a walkthrough on the second playthrough. Uh, but definitely using um, using a walkthrough to be able to get like the secret weapons, the ultimate weapons, things like that. Because, like I said, the weapons are okay. I mean, they're all... I, I, I would like to have seen maybe just like one or two weapons, right? Like, and then you kind of just upgrade them as you go along. But as it is, it's just like they threw in a bunch of weapons that at the end of the day, um, they're all the same, <laughs> aside from what like little special things they have on them. Uh, it would be kind of cool to have like an actual burst mode uh, that isn't random and I can just like, you know, shoot, you know, like, you know, but I have the assault rifle, literally just da, 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 you know. Um, so. Uh, but, uh, I mean, other than that, great game. Enemies are awesome. I still recommend playing it if you can, uh, just for the experience. So, uh, for now, let's finish uh, listening to the credits and then we'll continue from there.
all them bonus points. Oh wow, I got a lot of bonus points. Uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and save this slot one. Change this. Let's just see if there's uh, anything right off the bat that's different here. Disc. Ow. It's quite new. Okay, so um, after a little bit of uh, figuring out what's going on here, um, so for <sighs> transparency, I lost my save states. I don't know what happened to them. So, because I, I, instead of having to go back and fight the boss every time I died, I was saving. So I don't know where they went. Uh, but that's beside the point. Um, right now, when it comes to. Uh, we are in New Game Plus mode. It's just weird how they do it, because usually it's like you hit continue, you choose your save file, and then you go into the new game, right? Um, apparently this, you just select new game, you have bonus points. Now, what I didn't do, um, I wasn't aware of, is that when you go into the final battle, you want to store all the items aside from the guns that you're carrying. Um, you want to engrave it, because the engraving is what carries into the next uh, game. So if I were starting a game right now, I get the bonus points, but I have no equipment carrying over. So I would essentially have to go back through, play the end of the game, um, to do it right, because <laughs> it would have been nice if it had been explained, uh, and then go from there. So I'm going to do that off screen, um, because at this point we, we've beaten the game, so we, we've seen what it has. Uh, we will be going, I will start up a new series uh, probably in a few weeks for the new game plus mode. Uh, once I clear out the end of the game again and get all that squared away. Um, and then uh, after that, um, uh, you know, obviously Parasite Eve 2 is going to be up next. Uh, and then uh, be starting on the Resident Evil 4 1 uh, playthrough as well. Um, there's a couple other games I want to kind of deal with as well. So, I mean, we'll go from there. But um, outside of that, guys, this is Parasite Eve, a great game. Recommend it highly, uh, you know, if you can get your hands on it. So, um, other than that, I hope you're all well. Um, staying safe out there. Um, remember, follow your heart and uh, follow your dreams. Yeah. Until next time, friends. Stay off. Talk to you then. Bye bye.